It's always been about community. After a decade of grassroots support for providing new opportunities for higher education in New Jersey, in 1965, the Bergen County Board of Chosen Freeholders made Bergen Community College a reality. Just two short years later, the college's first board of trustees approved the master plan to develop 400 Paramus Road as Bergen's home and named Dr. Sidney Silverman its first president. Dr. Silverman would serve 10 years as Bergen's leader, working collaboratively with the institution's early students, faculty, and staff, operating first out of Building E, now Ender Hall, and eventually the megastructure, now the Pitkin Education Center. Students immediately enrolled in programs that prepared them for careers in business and the sciences, taking advantage of the energetic faculty's desire to make Bergen, in Dr. Silverman's vision, the Harvard of community colleges. These formative years at the institution featured a spirit of collegiality and togetherness, with faculty and staff recalling stories of droves of students, close office quarters, and even a rainy graduation day ceremony. By the end of Dr. Silverman's first 10 years, nearly 4,500 men and women would earn associate degrees and certificates. A new community of learners. After founding President Dr. Sidney Silverman's retirement, the college continued its explosive growth during the next two decades under Presidents Dr. Alvin Reed and Dr. Jose Lopez Issa, a founding faculty member. Together with faculty and community members, the college continued its development as a premier destination for higher education, acquiring its adult learning center in Hackensack for $1 from the record newspaper in 1978, building the Anna Maria Sacconi Theater, student center, expanding the library, and even serving as a campaign stop for Democratic nominee for President of the United States, Walter Mondale, in 1984. The college took care to respond to a statewide call to increase the number of black and Hispanic students enrolled in college by creating new initiatives to ensure that all members of the Bergen region had an opportunity to pursue their dreams. By the mid-90s, and with enrollment rising to more than 13,000 students, President Dr. Judith K. Wynn ushered in a new era of services at the institution for students with disabilities and those studying English as a second language. Meanwhile, advances in technology streamlined academic pursuits, adding email and the World Wide Web to the Bergen lexicon. As the 2000s began, the college's focus on the technological revolution and the approaching opening of the Technology Education Center quickly turned to the events of September 11, 2001. But the American spirit endured, and so did Bergen's. Seeking to serve their communities, record numbers of students enrolled in programs like criminal justice, while new programs in homeland security and e-commerce reflected our changing world. Bergen's physical campus continued its transformation as well. A $1 million gift from the Pitkin Foundation renamed the Megastructure, while President Wynne closed her tenure by opening the arts and communication marvel West Hall. As President Dr. Jerry Ryan entered the college, the nation entered the Great Recession. With Americans struggling to find work and veterans returning home from the conflicts that began at the beginning of the decade, enrollment surged with many opting to pursue a higher education as a path to a better life. The enrollment increase led to the hiring of a historic number of full-time faculty members and the purchase of a five-story facility in Lyndhurst known as Bergen Community College at the Meadowlands. At the beginning of the 2010s, the college placed renewed emphasis on supporting students and their success through resources such as the Cerullo Learning Assistance Center, which would twice earn honors as the top tutoring center in the country, and other initiatives such as an on-campus food pantry to help students remain on a path to graduation. These programs helped Bergen surge to the top of the state's rankings for associate degree graduates four years in a row. And that wasn't the only bright spot for Bergen students, faculty, and staff. Among the accolades, Phi Theta Kappa students held offices such as International President, while faculty member Dr. Jeffrey Sadock earned U.S. Professor of the Year honors. 
Under Dr. B.K. Walter as president, the college completed construction on the region's only Health Professions Integrated Teaching Center, a facility like no other of its kind, preparing graduates for the county's number one job sector, healthcare. Also, through leveraging federal grants, the college offered cutting-edge STEM programs in areas such as drone technology and even sent a high-altitude balloon into space. It should then come as no surprise that in 2017, as the college marked its 50th anniversary, the Aspen Institute College Excellence Program named Bergen as one of the nation's top 150 community colleges. Think of Bergen County without Bergen Community College. More than 600,000 students have passed through its doors, exiting better than they entered them, fulfilling the promise its first president, Dr. Sidney Silverman, and what he dreamed of 50 years ago. A story about thousands of students, young and old, who have extended their horizons and who have added new dimensions to their lives. With current president and longtime faculty member, Dr. Michael D. Redmond, now leading the college into its next 50 years, prepared to meet the challenges of the road ahead, the question becomes not what would Bergen County look like without Bergen Community College, but how can Bergen Community College continue to serve Bergen County? How can the college support students as they transfer to the nation's top four-year institutions? How can the college develop workforce development programs that drive economic growth? And how can Bergen serve you? We don't know what exactly the future will hold, but we know the class of 2018 will lead the way. The journey to the next 50 years begins today.